Governor, I know you said you were maybe not going to touch what's going on in Washington, but I wondered if, as a doctor, you wanted to address what President Trump said about downplaying the risks of the um, uh, of COVID early on. Well, Laura, let me make a couple points, and I, I appreciate the, the question, but, you know, I've, I've said all along that we are fighting a, a biological war. Uh, our first case in Virginia uh, was on March 7th, believe it or not, uh, a half a year ago. And we began fighting this war. And when I say we as the Commonwealth of Virginia and also we as, as governors, without the supplies that we needed. And from the beginning, uh, I think it's the governors have really taken a, a responsible uh, leadership position uh, in being up front uh, with our constituents. Uh, talking about the, the science uh, of this virus as, as we know it, uh, the things that, that work to keep the virus under control. And unfortunately, uh, what has happened is it's become political. Um, and uh, just to, to look at the, the couple of rallies that have taken place uh, with the president in the past couple of days, rallies that are indoors where people are congregating uh, close together, no facial protection or, or very minimal use of facial protection. And, and it just goes against the, the, the science and the grain of what we're trying to do as Americans and what we're trying to do as, as states. Um, and so that's, that's to me uh, frustrating and it's, it's also regrettable. And, and as I mentioned earlier, this, this uh, our ability to, to get this pandemic uh, under control, it's it's in our hands, and it's it's all about our behavior, and it's all about, you know, doing the right thing and and following the science. And so, so when we have a president that ignores the science, number one, uh, and then goes against what even uh, his consultants are are telling him, you know, to do, it's just uh, it's just defeating the purpose, and it's very frustrating. The, the other point I would make, uh, Laura, and I. Uh, certainly don't mean to be political, but I, I say this as a veteran, and I also say it uh, as a doctor uh, who took care of a lot of wounded soldiers during the uh, Gulf War, and soldiers who um, a lot of have, have had traumatic brain injuries uh, from explosive devices, a lot of them have had loss of limbs, uh, a lot of them are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, and, and I consider them as heroes. I consider them the reason that I'm able to stand behind this microphone and as a, a Virginian and as American uh, speak freely. And, and when we talk about the suicide rate of veterans, which is 17 per day in, in this country, when we have the leader of our country referring to people like me and other men and women who have worn the uniform and, and some have, who have ultimately uh, paid the, the sacrifice of death to refer to them as losers and suckers. It just turns my stomach. And so as an American, as a Virginian, I have trouble looking up to a leader. I have trouble respecting uh, a leader uh, that refers to uh, my fellow veterans uh, in that manner. And so, uh, as I've said all along, and one of the reasons that I want to make this election uh, as secure as we can to make sure that every vote counts, this is why we have elections. And I encourage everybody, not just in Virginia, but everybody in this country, to exercise their right uh, on November the 3rd or prior to then and, and make sure that their vote counts.